Wowza. C is for coffee. Before we get to coffee, caffeine in general is an essential ingredient in my life. My definition for caffeine is that it is a benevolent crystalline compound that makes being conscious tolerable. I hypothesize that if I were any less saturated with caffeine in conjunction with if my grip on my consciousness was loosened just a tad, I think that I would slip into a very deep slumber. Like I'm borderline at risk narcoleptic. Is that a thing? Probs not. I probs just have chronic fatigue that I'm heavily masking because who wants to deal with that? Anyway, coffee is my favorite source of the blessed stimulant caffeine. Fun fact, I don't have an alarm clock. However, I do have a programmable coffee maker that sits right next to my bed. So before I go to bed, I set it up. Then in the morning, I wake up to the sound and smell of percolating coffee. It is delicious. It's good for me. It's a perfect way to start the day. Yeah. Note, there are differing opinions about the health effects of coffee, but I had to carry out the Michael Scott reference. You taste so good. Like, you can't, you can't possibly be bad for me in large quantities. It's just nonsense. Coffee should be strong and bold. Like, it should have the brass to kick you with a steel-toed boot right in between your shoulders. That's what gets me out of bed in the morning. And then later in the day, it's the perfect compliment to homework or work work. Either work. Either one, it works for. Either work, it helps you work. But in the case of homework, I often use coffee as a pre-ward. What's a pre-ward? <laughs> it's just an award that you give yourself before accomplishing anything. The good intention behind it is that it'll encourage you to do stuff, but it 100% does not work. And I pre-ward hard, like I pre-game to pre-ward. Like I make myself coffee before going to a coffee shop to pre-ward myself with a very special specialty coffee beverage. I can be productive at coffee shops though. Like I can be very productive. I can be my most productive self at coffee shops given that I don't go there with friends. I almost always go there with friends. I wanna say praise to the coffee shops that have both good coffee and outlets like available outlets. Those are rare. Wonderful. But more on the subject of coffee. Nicole Johnson said that coffee is far more than a beverage. It is an invitation to life disguised as a cup of warm liquid. It's a trumpet wake up call or a gentle rousing hand on your shoulder. Coffee is a lingering scent better than any potpourri. Coffee is an experience an offer, a rite of passage, a good excuse to get together. I love that because when someone asks you to get coffee, it's not because they're thirsty, they wanna spend time with you. That was kind of a perfect quote. I think this thing has hit a tie point and if I continue to talk, it's just gonna go downhill from here because the coffee 